All right, good morning. So it's about 6.15 now. I'm all packed up, about to get moving. I'll show you guys where I camped. All right, so I just camped right here, like along this way. And yeah, just cowboy camped as usual in the forest. And it was pretty well sheltered. The wind was coming from, from this direction, but all these trees sheltered me decently well. And the road is just up ahead over here. So just gonna head to the road and then carry on hiking. And so I think it's about five, maybe 5.5 miles to get to Jacob Lake. So I'm gonna try and get there around eight o'clock, probably not stop for too long and then keep moving. And I think the total miles to get to the end of the trail is 33, maybe 34. And I'm gonna try and do that before it gets dark, try and get there around seven. You know, I did a similar amount yesterday, starting at a similar time, so I think it should be doable. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've made it to Jacob Lake. So this is the Jacob Lake Inn on my left here. And so you can actually stay here. And there's also like a maybe a restaurant and a bakery or somewhere to buy some snacks, I think at least. So. I'm going to just pick up some snacks, maybe some cookies or something, and then carry on. I don't want to stop here for long, but you could stop here and actually get breakfast at the inn. Apparently they have good breakfast here, but I just want to keep moving, so yeah. So it has actually warmed up a decent amount now. You know, I've left Jacob Lake and I'm back on the trail and I've dropped some elevation. I think I'm closer to like, I don't know, I'm below 7,500, close to 7,000 now. And it's, it's warmed up a lot, it's a big difference. It was crazy that I had my puffy jacket on, my rain jacket on, had my wind pants or wind trousers on uh, for like basically 24 hours. I mean, since I left the North Rim, until I reached Jacob Lake, I had all my layers on the whole time. And luckily now we've dropped some elevation, it's warming up. And the trail is pretty cruisy, so yeah, it's good. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but part of the reason why I'm trying to finish the trail today, because I could finish tomorrow if I wanted to, but I want to finish today because the weather forecast is really rough for tomorrow. Tomorrow the temperature is supposed to drop a lot and it's supposed to get way windier. You know, it's already been really windy. It's supposed to get like gale force winds, really cold, potentially raining or snowing depending on the elevation. So I want to drop down to the low elevation where it'll be warmer and hopefully, you know, decently sheltered and just finish the trail before the bad weather comes in. So that's the plan and that's kind of why I'm pushing for the end tonight. Because otherwise I could, you know, just kind of take it easy and cruise in tomorrow morning and it wouldn't be an issue. But with the weather forecast, I just, I just want to get out, like get out and down to the safe lower elevation. So that's the plan.
only 10 miles to go so with less than 10 miles to go i'm definitely going to finish the trail today it's not even four o'clock yet so i'll get there at like 7 to 7 30 or something and yeah really excited i mean it's crazy i've actually pretty much finished the arizona trail now so if you've watched from the beginning you know thanks for watching and i hope you've enjoyed watching all these videos and it's been fun like taking people along on the journey and it's been really fun making the videos so i've had a great time doing it and after this i'm going to be doing a similar thing for the continental divide trail which is from mexico to canada so that's going to be an even bigger trip and it's going to be just as much fun making videos and having people follow along but yeah thanks for watching it's been it's been really fun All right, so this is the final water source of the trail. So I'm going to fill up here and then hike those last four miles to Utah. All right, this is it. This is the end of the Arizona Trail. This is Utah. There you go, made it. All right, well, there you go. What an amazing journey, all the way from Mexico to Utah. That's it, that's the Arizona Trail.